Good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, we slept in a bit. Uh, didn't get up till 8 something. Maybe a little before 8. Um, on our windows here, they actually have blackout curtains that we pulled last night. They worked very well. Um, I woke up at 3 something this morning, got woken up from a dream or something, and I could hear construction outside. So they definitely were working through the night. They It sounded at that time like they were dropping big heavy metal things inside a big trash dumpster, like that like clanging type of noise. But fortunately it didn't last for very long. So, But I did debate getting up and getting the earplugs because um, I just didn't know how long it was going to last. Anyhow, we both slept really well, got a good night's rest, woke up kind of late. Got downstairs um, by 8.30ish um, for breakfast, which they had told me ends at 9, and I read something in our room that said it closed at 9. Um, so we rushed around grabbing food, grabbed way more than we needed to and ate more than we needed to, but it was so good. That was definitely one of the, probably, if not the best breakfast that came included with a room we've ever gotten before. Um, up there was one of the top. They had so many choices on things. The food was really good quality. Uh, they kept bringing hot food out like it was never ending. Um, I ended up seeing a sign later um, right outside the breakfast area that says it didn't close till 10 on weekends. So that made more sense while they kept still bringing stuff out. But yeah, it was really, really good. Um, but we definitely ate more than we needed to. So our plan for eating today is we were already planning to eat some fish and chips down um, near the water. And that was gonna be our lunch. So we're gonna try to do a later lunch kind of dinner. So like a dinner. And then we're just gonna eat some fruit and nuts and things for a very light dinner back here. We also grabbed a couple yogurts and hard boiled eggs from breakfast and put them in the fridge here. So we'll have that as well. So we're planning a very light dinner, fish and chips for lunch, and that super heavy breakfast, but it was so good. Um, yeah, so we, we're just finishing getting ready for the morning. We're gonna head back out to the car rental to drop off the keys for the car that we dropped off last night, um, get that all squared away. And then I think we're gonna try to hit a movie theater on the way and see if we can reserve a movie for tomorrow because it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. So we want to try to get, it's reserved seating. We wanna try to get um, a movie while it's raining um, for tomorrow. We're just trying to figure out which movie to go see. And then we're gonna go explore downtown Seattle because my hus husband hasn't gotten a chance to really do that yet. So we're gonna take time to do that today and just kind of putz around. And the plan is to get back not too late tonight so we can just relax for the evening, make sure we get good full night's rest um, because tomorrow is our last day. It's gonna be a short day because we have to be at the airport by around three. Um, so it's it's we're not gonna have a lot of time tomorrow. Um, so today is our last full day, but we're looking forward to it. It's been a lot of fun so far. We've really enjoyed it. We really enjoyed going out yesterday and seeing this, some sights and getting out of the city and seeing the gorgeous snow with the trees. It was really pretty. It was a lot of fun. So that was good. All right. So we're just going to finish up here, grab our stuff and head out. So we uh, kind of paused to check out construction. This is some of the construction that's happening outside of our hotel. Um, we just finished at the car rental and are walking down to the movie theater. But we kind of wanted to see what they're doing down here. We've done different types of construction type things at our own house. Um, so it's fun to see what the people are doing in other places. It'll be neat to see this in a year um, when we come back and see what they've done here. They've obviously taken out buildings because you can see foundation structures down here. Um, so who knows what was here previously. And uh, it'll be neat to see what they're putting in in its place. It's, they have an assembly line going right here, these three. The lower one is bringing it up to the middle one and the middle one's going to the top one and who knows where all that dirt is going if they're actually trying to get rid of it or make a ramp or... I don't know. It's just interesting to see. So we kind of got stuck here uh, watching. Um, yeah, so. This is part of our site scene of Seattle. See how they're um, building it up. We got to the theater and they don't open for another 10 minutes. Um, so right across from the theater is the Washington State Convention Center. So we came in here because it's warm and there's seats. And we're gonna hang out here while we finalize which movie we wanna see. And then we'll head back to the theater 
to go um, purchase our tickets. Yeah, that's the plan. It's warmer today than it has been. The sun isn't out there, so that, also, not that the sun matters that much, the buildings are so tall in the city that there's only a small window of time during the day when you actually have the sun glaring in your eyes if you're walking a certain direction. And so I've needed my sunglasses for that, but otherwise, um, <laughs> you don't see the sun much, um, at least not direct sunlight. Um, so it stays pretty much the same temperature in the city the whole time, which is fine. We're, we're prepared for it. Um, yeah, so we're just going to figure out the movie and then we'll go buy our tickets and then we'll go wander around some more. All right, movie tickets are secure. And now we're walking down Pike Street. We're starting at 7th Avenue. And we're just gonna see what we can see. And we'll definitely make our way down to uh, Pike's Place and um, get to see that. It'll be neat to see it on a weekend day since I saw it on a weekday and I showed you it wasn't very crowded. Uh, so we'll see how much more crowded it is on the weekend. And um, I'm assuming more shops will be open too.
So here's the first Starbucks and I remember waiting in a line like this my first time to go in there years ago and you guys saw just a couple days ago I walked in there and there was hardly anyone in there. It pays to come on the weekday apparently. So much more crowded here today. But I don't think it's even close still to what it was like in the summertime when we came. But there's also a lot more vendors out too right now. So having so many more people around is a totally different atmosphere. And I have to say I liked it better when it was empty. Already feeling tired of being around people. Um, we're gonna try to get closer to the water near where the ferry docks. Um, that's where we've gotten fish and chips before. So hopefully we can find that place again. <laughs> Scope it out. And, uh, here we go. I don't know if this takes us down or not. We'll find out. Um, yeah. So that's, that's what we're going to try to do. Try to get away from some of the crowd, at least. Um, if you're wondering why we haven't done any other big tourist things like going at the Space Needle, we haven't done that before. It's expensive. Um, we were thinking of doing it while also eating at the restaurant at the top, but the restaurant's under construction. It has been for a while. So that'll probably be on a future trip. Sorry, we're right next to a freeway. It's really loud. Um, but we will not be doing the Space Needle on this trip. Um, whoops. Yeah, so right now we're just trying to find our way. Oh, no waterfront access. Okay, looks like we're going back up this way. On a previous trip, we um, did do the aquarium, and we had, at the time, uh, our oldest... Did that we do that when we only had Chloe and Kaylee? Or Shiloh and Baby? Either it was just with our two oldest or with our three girls, I can't remember. If it was with our three girls, then our youngest was only a couple months old. Um, we did go see the aquarium, which was really neat. The girls enjoyed it, they were young. Um, our oldest would have only been almost four, not quite four at the time, if that's when we did it. And yeah, that was yeah. elevator to waterfront, I guess we can't go down this way. Um, that was nice. We also did, I think it was a children's museum. I don't know if that's what it was called, but it had a little play area. Uh, that the kids could play at. We did that as well.
nearby that, I don't remember how far away from that, there was there were fountains out and we let our kids play in the fountains. It was warm enough for it. Um, and that was a blast. They loved that. Uh, oh, it must have been when we only had Chloe and Keely because Chloe was still in the diaper at the time. Must have been. Um, so that was a lot of fun. So we did more family type things like that when we've been here in the past. Can we do those stairs? It is a squid. They're catching squid. Look at that. That is Alright, we made it to IFRs. Um, we've had this before, excellent, and it's highly rated if you look it up. So we got the five piece cod with fries, a bowl of the white clam chowder, and we have a malt vinegar, a garlic onion vinegar, I believe, and lots of tartar sauce and some ketchup. So we're gonna enjoy this. IFRs was tasty. Um, the clam chowder was really good, nice and warm. And the fish and chips were really good too. I have to say, my homemade tartar sauce, which is actually a, I think it's from Ina Garden. Is that his name? I got it off the Food Network. Um, and the Barefoot Contessa, I think, I think it's her recipe. Anyhow, that's really good tartar sauce. This one was okay. Um, but the thing that was good with these is they the malt vinegar and the garlic. It was either garlic or garlic onion vinegar. Those are really good. Um, my husband, I think, like the malt one better. I like the garlic one better. Um, so, very tasty. We are now going to walk along, back along the waterfront. And we're walking over to the Space Needle area. And we'll see what we can see there. We made it to the Olympic Sculpture Park. We're gonna walk around here a little bit and then the Space Needle is right up there. So we'll probably head up that way afterwards. Um, we'll see how much walking you do. My foot, I feel like I might be getting a blister um, on the bottom of one of my feet. So we'll see how much walking you do. Um, but since we're already this far west and close to the Space Needle, I'll at least go up that way because we have to go up that way anyways to get back to our hotel. So it is an incredibly warm day out here for all the days we've been here, especially compared to yesterday. I can have my gloves off today and my fingers aren't freezing, so that's crazy. Um, but it is supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm sure we'll get that lovely weather very soon. So we're enjoying the warmth today.
you ever heard of Daiso? It's the Japanese version of a dollar store, except everything in there is $1.50 because it's imported. But our girls love this store. One opened up not too far from our house, and anytime they can get there, they love going there. They're, one of their favorite things is these little um, erasers that are of all different types of things, lots of animals, sometimes food items and things, um, and they come apart and get put back together. Um, they found out about it because when um, their cousins lived in uh, Japan, they and my in-laws went out and visited them there. They would go to these stores and the, my nephews would just sit at the table and just take the racers apart and put them back together constantly. And so my mother-in-law knew about the store, so when we opened by our house, she took them there and they just fell in love with it. So we have been to be getting out of the monorail at Westlake Shopping Center and we found, you see it? Daiso store. So we're going to go inside and see if there's anything unique in there. Um, one thing about it is you never know what's going to be shipped to each of the stores, so they carry different things. And if you go one time and you go back another time, they might not always have the same things again. So um, we'll go see if there's anything fun in there. They have some great stuff for like stocking stuffers, especially for my kids. So I'm going to take a peek for a little bit. No luck with finding anything in there. Um, it's a rather small store compared to what we have back at home, but it was still fun to get to see it. It's much more cramped in there. The one we have at home is huge. Spacious aisles, very bright and clean in there. It's a nice place to go. But it was still fun to see this one. Alright, it is about 5.40. Um, we got back here a little after 5. Um, we stopped and got some boba drink. Um, we were also going to stop at the Cherry Street Coffee House to pick up that free coffee. I think I told you about that. I got a coupon for a free coffee, um, but they had already closed. They had just closed at 5. So um, we'll take advantage of it tomorrow before the movie, I think. Our movie starts at 12.15. Um, so we're back here. I just took a nice hot shower, um, cleaned off my face. feels so good. I feel warm now. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> And I am ready to just relax for the evening. I'm so excited on a Saturday night, right? Um, but it's our last night kid free. <laughs> so I'm going to take advantage of it. My husband just left to go um, do a little workout at the fitness center here. Um, my feet were hurting too much to really do that. Um, so he didn't really want to, but he's being very good about it and going anyways. Um, so good job. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for the rest of the night. He'll come back and we'll just relax together. Cool thing is, we were able to sign into our Netflix account on the TV here in the hotel room. So we get a huge 49-inch TV to watch Netflix on instead of our little laptop that we brought. So um, we did that last night and we'll probably do that again tonight. And we'll just eat our fruit and nuts and snacks and stuff as we're hungry this evening. Um, but that's pretty much it for our last four full day here in Seattle. 
Um, so I'm probably going to sign it off here because I don't think anything really exciting is going to happen after this. Um, but thanks for joining us today. Tomorrow will be pretty laid back because um, we're just checking out, going to the movie, and then the airport. So I don't know how much I'll film of that. But um, we'll see. So good morning. It is Sunday morning about 11 o'clock. We had a nice lazy morning. We got up, got our breakfast in the hotel, and um, then just went back up and kind of relaxed and slowly packed our things. We just checked out and checked our luggage into their luggage holding area. And we're just going to hang out in their lobby here. Can you see behind me? part of their bar restaurant but it's also used as where you can eat your breakfast as well. Oh, there's a Christmas tree over here. We're gonna hang out here for about a half hour. Um, it's raining outside, not heavy, it doesn't look like, but it is wet outside. So we're gonna hang out here for about a half hour or so and then we'll head over to the theater. There's a subway right across the way, so we're gonna grab some sandwiches to have on hand for lunch. And then our movie starts at 12.15 and then when it gets out, we'll head back to the hotel and get our luggage and call an Uber to take us to the airport and it all should be perfect timing. As long as everything goes well, we should get to the airport when we need to. They said we need to be there two hours ahead of time because the Seattle airport is under major construction so there could be long lines for security. So we're trying to make sure we're, we do that so we don't get caught up in anything. Um, but yeah, it's been really relaxful. It's really nice not rushing out of here. Um, normally when we're on vacations, we get up early and get moving and get out as fast as possible so we can get to our next destination or activity. So to get to be able to relax like this was really nice. All right, so I'm gonna finish up a book that I'm reading and um, then we'll head to the theater. All right, we made it through security. We have about an hour and a half left before our flight leaves. Um, everything went really smoothly. Um, it was really nice to get to shed all of my extra layers um, and pack those away in our check bag. So it can be nice and comfortable on the flight. Um, yeah, this was a really relaxing, easy day. We got some time to kill before our flight and we'll just take it easy and should have a good flight back and um, get back to, it won't be a sunny Southern California because it'll be nighttime, but it should be at least warmer than here and I think it's going to be dry too. We're heading on to the train to get to our gate, so I'm going to hop on.